Hi, I'm Dr. Falvo, and I want to review a few of the visual symptoms that many of our sports athletes uh, that suffer concussions may uh, experience, uh, how you can recognize them, and what you can do about them. Most of you already know the symptoms of a concussion. These students very often complain of headaches, even well after their concussion uh, is passed. They can um, report dizziness, and just a general disorientation or, mom, I just don't feel like myself. I feel weird, I'm, I'm just tired. But today we're gonna to talk a little bit about the visual symptoms. There are mainly three that you would look for. The first one is they'll complain of blurriness. Um, when they look at their printed material in a book, when they look at the smart board or the blackboard in a classroom, just things aren't as crisp as they used to be. Number two, they can complain of double vision. And the double vision it can make it very difficult for them to read uh, their social studies, their science textbook, for them to even do their calculus or algebra or general math uh, subjects. And um, so that's the second symptom. The third visual symptom is they just have overall difficulty visually concentrating on a lot of visual input, like a full page of text out of a middle school or a high school textbook a full page of math problems, story problems. It, it doesn't really matter. Anything that visually is very busy. Now, why do these things occur? Well, they occur because some of these concussion students suffer secondarily from a condition where their two eyes have difficulty turning in and converging and lining up properly on a single word or a single target on a page, whether it be an exponent in math, or a word that they have to read. This difficulty in converging, often referred to as convergence insufficiency, can cause blurred vision, double vision, and the difficulty concentrating. Now what do you do? Well, if you want to recognize it, all you have to do is take a pen or a finger, and if I were the student, take the finger, have the student look at the finger, follow it all the way in, and you'd like to see the two eyes come all the way together and converge almost like they're crossed. But in these students that have convergence insufficiency, somewhere part way in, one eye will start to drift off. And so the two eyes won't be turned in, but one will drift off. That convergence insufficiency, really the only mode of treatment, is through vision therapy. That's physical therapy for the eyes. Uh, we treat a lot of students that come into my office on referral. I am happy to talk you through it. If you want to contact me via phone, or via email, just get a hold of me and I'll talk you through somebody maybe in your area that can help um, if I'm too far away and tell you what to expect, how frequently you might have to do the therapy and uh, what the outcome should be. I hope I've asked, answered a few of the questions you have about visual symptoms based on concussions and I look forward to talking with you.